Welcome to yet another all drive adventure. Now this particular one begins with an old Indian proverb that says the most beautiful thing in this world is the starry heavens above us. Now in our cities with civilization, the skies just aren't the same anymore. So we've decided to come hundreds of kilometers away from civilization here in the middle of absolutely nowhere in the foothills of the Himalayas to get that unparalleled view of the night sky. Now to make it even more unforgettable, we've got ourselves an astronomer with a set of telescopes to give us an even better perspective. Now to get to this remote place, we've sought the help of, well, four very visibly capable off-roaders from Mercedes-Benz, well, the three-pointed stars right here on Earth. And our journey began all the way back in Chandigarh, where we got a rather emotional farewell from Bert. And there they go. Stars and the three-pointed stars going to meet the stars up in the sky above. Unfortunately, it's not a trip that I'm on this time. And I'm going to be missing out on a whole lot of fun. But let's say bye to them. It's going to be an epic trip. They're going to have a lot of fun. That convoy just looks awesome. Like we've been doing for a while now, we let 10 lucky overdrive enthusiasts be a part of the Starstruck expedition. A chance for them to live the overdrive life. Overdrive expeditions usually involve special locations and special cars. But what sets them apart from other journeys is that we always have a special agenda as well. This particular expedition was in search of that perfectly lucid night sky. What we needed was to get away from civilization, from pollution and from any source of light. We needed some place where the air was thin and so a higher altitude would certainly help. We really didn't even have to think twice about it as our love for the place made the choice quite easy. We headed out to the incredibly arresting mountains up north. make the journey comfortable and in some places even possible, we sought the services of some of the best luxury off-roaders on offer in India, the Mercedes-Benz ML and GL class SUVs. So it's day two of our journey, we are on our way from Manali to Chotadara, which is where we'll be camping at night, which is also the place where we are hoping to get a clear view of the night sky, and uh, which is well the point of this trip. We found ourselves our first major traffic jam ahead of this place called Rani Nala on the way, and beyond which we are hoping that things will clear out and we'll be on our way once again. Traffic is moving, but it's kind of slow and crawling. Now, uh, this traffic jam notwithstanding, this route is probably one of the most picturesque routes uh, in India if you want to, well, drive down. And uh, we've got four fantastic cars with us, so this should be a trip to remember. So we've just crossed the Rotang Pass and uh, uh, if you saw the visuals, uh, you will know why we decided not to stop at Rotang. I mean, the place is just completely overcrowded uh, by tourists and visitors from all across the country at this time of the year. Uh, we, on the other hand, have a greater purpose uh, for this journey. So we decided not to stop at Rotang, come a little further up ahead, let the participants soak in these, well, all striking visuals and uh, get some pictures taken as well and well five minutes and we're going to be on our way
Our contingent of 19 people was divided between two MLs, an ML350 CDI and the mighty ML63 AMG and two GL350 CDIs. Now on our urban roads, these mammoths are used to intimidating everything around. But under the backdrop of the mighty Himalayas, even they stood humble. There's simply nothing mightier than the Himalayas on planet Earth, except perhaps the human will. The participants hadn't just signed up to be ferried around, each of them got the opportunity to drive these incredibly capable cars on the daunting terrains of the Himalayas. Even before we had reached our destination, the participants had already been starstruck. This meant that the skies would certainly have to put on a spectacle to match the exhilaration of driving these wonderful cars. It was an awesome experience driving the Mercedes cars. And knowing that the, what the cars was capable of on these uh, treacherous roads. Uh, what blew me off is like the, the cameras on the sky had a 360 degrees camera, so it could easily uh, navigate, uh, navigate yourself through all these rocks. So. It was an awesome experience though. I mean, I, I don't know if I ever get to drive these cars on the Himalayan range. Awesome. The height adjustments on the vehicles have been really helpful. Um, I think we have an AMG with us that sits quite low that would normally would have knocked quite a few rocks on the way, but because of the air suspension, um, I don't think even once any of the SUVs that we've had here has even touched anything for that matter. We've crossed streams, we've crossed water, um, slush, a bit of snow here and there, and you can see the way the traction control sort of really kicks in. Yeah, if I had one of these SUVs, I'd probably bring them up here. The moment you woke up in the early in the morning and you see the full convoy of Mercedes with an AMG, and then that's where you get starstruck for the first time. The destination we had chosen to camp out was the magnificent Vale of Chotadara, where we had set up our mobile camp away from any form of civilization. An acute contrast from the comforts of the Park Plaza Hotel, where we had begun our journey. We experienced the extremities of hot and cold, and the Nautica April helped immensely in either case. Well, we've woken up to this absolutely breathtaking morning here at our campsite at Chota Dara. We reached here last evening and uh, at night we did manage to get a brief glimpse of the night sky. It got clouded very quickly. But that brief glimpse was enough for the participants to insist that they wanted to stay here for one more night. So, well, we gladly obliged. We're going to stay here for one more day and one more night and tomorrow we're going to head out. But for today, during the day, um, we, have a, we have a host of activities lined up for the participants. We've got mountain bikes, we've got kites for them to fly and well, this, this view by itself should suffice for them. At nightfall, we were we are hoping rather for uh, an extended view of the clear night sky. Hopefully it won't get too clouded. We've got our astronomer out here with us with uh, his telescope and he's going to show us well satellites and planets and stars and what, whatnot. And we're quite excited for that. So, well, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that tonight makes it worthy coming all this way. The day was spent cycling, flying kites, being one with nature in its most virgin form. Human contact wasn't restricted to phones and emails. In fact, the lack of any network for these past two days was a cleansing exercise that everyone needed. It made us embrace the part of life we had willingly replaced in our everyday dealings with digital communication and corporate etiquette. The day flew past and it was time for the night to set in. The heavens had been kind for we got exactly what we had travelled so far for. The advantage of our location at Chota Dara was that we were hundreds of miles away from any source of light. The air was thin 
and devoid of any water vapor and dust which made the sky absolutely pristine. It opened up the incredible heavens above us as our naked eyes were able to spot the two arms of our galaxy, the Milky Way and even some nebulae at the center of the galaxy. We also spotted the planets Mars and Saturn along with some meteorites and satellites. And if the spectacle wasn't enough for the naked eye, we got our telescope out and had Jatin overdrives now resident astronomer to tell us exactly what we were gaping at in dumbfounded awe. I'm showing you planet Saturn with its rings and some satellites. The satellites are visible just like stars around the planets. But you can clearly see the ring system, the gap and the planet. I think uh, I've been reading Old Rhyme for 10 years, so to be part of that story and to be part of that ex you know, exceptional team and they acting our mentors and coaches was unbelievable. So probably that's a highlight. You know, happy uh, moments all come together at one go. Having great food, great people around, you know, no connection of the outside world and nobody can reach you, neither you can reach anybody. It's like, a, it's like you never experience that you can be 100% to yourself and that's what happens here and I really believe that happening to me. We had a chance to look at the stars and things and I mean starstruck so um, that was fantastic I mean that is something that I never really expected to see um, I mean pretty much starstruck I guess on that one. 